All right, what's going on, guys? Young46. Uh, one of the members of my country club, his name is Do It Faster, uh, Charlie. He asked me a, a good question and asked me to do a video on it. So uh, I'm going to try to do a video on it. So his question was about ramming putts. Is there a way, you know, how, how to get better at ramming putts? Uh, if you guys watch my videos, you know I ram pretty much anything under 7 feet, really 8 feet. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about ramming these putts. So right now I'm playing the 500 credit congressional ready go. So it's very fast greens. So easy way to do this. If you've watched my video on JC Sneed's putting method, um, I kind of talk about grid boxes and numbers and things like that. When you're playing on fast and very fast greens, it's pretty easy to pick your ram number. Um, if you feel like the dots are moving at a pretty normal speed, which, which here they are, then you pretty much just hit the number that you have here. So if this were downhill an inch, we would take 5.8 plus 1, make it 6.8. Uphill, we would subtract. Um, hopefully you've seen that JC Sneed putting method, and that'll make sense to you. So in this, this version, um, 5.8. So we want to go out 5.8. So 4 would be edge of the flag, the aimer box against it. And 6 would be at the edge of the hole, lining up with the edge of the aim box. So 5.7 would be just a tick less. So about right there. And then all we have to do from there is hit it 5.7 feet. Actually, I'm sorry, we're going to hit this a little firmer because it's very fast. So we're going to hit this a little over 6 feet. And that should drop. Right in the heart. All right. Okay, so here's another scenario uh, where we want to hit the ram. And again, same method. So now it's seven, right? So we take the six, we add the one. Dots are moving, eh, say, half, maybe a little over. So that would be three and a half. So that would be right about there. Take a look at it. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. So then all we do from there is we're going to hit it 6.1, and it drops. Okay, why did I hit 6.1? Because it's very fast, so I added a little bit more. Faster greens, it would have been 5.1. Um, but again, this really only is going to work for fast and very fast. For the faster greens, you have to add a multiplier. What that is, I could probably figure it out if I took enough time, but I, I play my ram putts pretty much just by feel. Um, so I, I don't really take the time to figure it out. But for, for those of you looking to ram those putts on faster greens, um, it's definitely worth looking at I would probably start you know 65% uh, or 70% and see how that progresses through all right here we go we've got another ram putt um, just looking at the dot speeds right now they look pretty normal they look pretty normal maybe a little faster um, but overall pretty normal so I'm gonna go out to 4.2 and I'm gonna hit it at 4.2 and bingo there's another one drops and notice they're dropping right in the center of the cup too all right so we're back at five um this is a, a nice shot actually actually almost went in the hole actually i think i'm gonna make you guys view it with me because i want to get a closer look at how close it came to go in it almost looked like it went right over the hole from the regular view and it did it went straight through the center of the hole. Uh, so that kind of sucks. That should have dropped. Anyway, putts like these where, where we do see a decent amount of break, um, you can play it a couple different ways. I just like to play it a fraction. So I'm going to play it like halfway, halfway in between. And then I'm just going to hit it four feet. So I almost just, I want to go like 150% on those, those real short ones that have maybe a little bit of break and you just want to kind of jam it in the back of the cup. Alright, so this is uh, one of those putts, one of those, those tough putts that I see a lot of people miss. So we've got a decent amount of uh, a break here. The dots are moving semi-fast, right? So this is one of those where we definitely want to jam it in the cup. Alright, for me, like I said, it's mostly feel based, but let's try to think about it from a mathematical perspective here. So the dots are 
they're moving a little faster. I would say, you know, 120, 125% or so. So I think that's going to give us yeah, a little over six. All right. So technically, we would want to aim here, and then we'd hit this about six feet. Um, the line I feel comfortable with, I'm going to hit it a little bit firmer, right? Because I just see, I just see this line a little bit better. So I'm going to hit it about six and a half feet and come in a little bit. Solid. Either way would work. I think you just have to do with the one that makes you feel more comfortable. Because I put by feel, that line just felt better to me, so I had to go with it. And I just compensated by hitting the ball a little bit firmer than I would have had I gone. You know, whatever it was, it was a 6.25 or whatever. Had I gone 6.25 and hit the putt six feet, same result. Um, so again, the method method still works there. All right, here we'll have another putt that we're going to ram. Uh, 4.6 feet. We see the dots are moving uh, slower, right? So, so let's say 66%. So that's three. So then we want to aim three. If we know four is here, three I usually say is kind of right in that, right at the edge of that green triangle up against the flag. Okay, and then I like to go to a 30 scale for this type of putt. And then I'm gonna hit it a little over five feet. Okay, and we drop right in the center of the cup. All right, so again we've got a very short putt here, I'm hitting it pretty tight, but we see the dots are moving pretty fast. So it's the same method as before. We just move it fairly off the center here. And we're going to hit it right around four, four and a half feet. So we take out all that break and just jam it in the back of the cup. Okay, so now we have a longer ram. But it's still within ramming distance. 7.3, we want to ram this all day. So now we're just going to look at our dot speeds and assess. So I think it's it's playing close to 100%. So the very edge of the box on the left, if we were to move the the pointer over there, that would be eight. So we want to go seven and a half, just a tick less, right? So then we're going to assess. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That should be in. All right, we're going to assess, assess. Feels right. I'm going to hit seven and a half feet. And boom, Solid. right in the center, dead center of the cup there. All right, so we stiff this one. Um, technically, I am ramming it, so I am going to record it just because I am, but uh, there's not much to this. We're just going to hit this one a little over three feet. Jam it right in, no problem there. So a question I know you guys are going to have is, how do I determine my dot speeds? Right, I get that question a lot. Every person's dot speed is different. So the way my computer renders the dot speeds are going to be different than yours. So for mine, if it takes um, eight seconds to go full grid, I, I count half, so we'll say four seconds for a half a grid, I call that normal. All right, and then I just kind of base everything off of that normal number. So what you're going to have to find is, is what your normal is for you. And if you set it up, um, you know, set up a tournament in very fast mode and, and just keep you know, repeating. Make it unlimited. That way uh, you can restart and you just find out what the dot speeds are for you that are your 100% normal. Alright, so this putt teeters on that cusp where we want to play regular speed and we want to ram it. However, I think if I can hit this firm enough, the putt is actually straight. So I don't think there's going to be hardly any break. Maybe right here. So I'm just going to play just a little bit of the break, and then I'm going to hit it 6.3 just to try to omit some of that break I think is in there. Ah, and it did break a little more. We went a little past. So that's kind of a bummer to miss that putt. Felt like that was, um, I was going to be able to hit it through a lot of that beginning break, and uh, just just didn't work out unfortunately on that putt. All right, we got another putt that we're going to ram coming up here. So if we add the totals up, we get uh, 4.9 plus 1, 5.9. We're going to assess our dot speeds. 
about 75%, maybe 66. So we take 5.9 times 0.75. That would be 4.4. That seems like a lot to me. It definitely is. So then we take our 5.9 times half. Uh, it seems like that might not be enough. So then we go with the in-between, which is 0.66, which again, if you watch my videos, you know these numbers. And that feels pretty good. It feels like it's a, a good, good speed right there. And then all we're going to do is we're going to hit it 4.8. And we jam it right in the center. All right, so we're on the last hole. This is this isn't a ramp up, but I, I thought I would talk a little bit about um, my progression through each grid line and how I read the putt. And again, it's a, it's a fill based method, so you know you kind of have to develop that on your own. Um, but, you know, I, I start with the first dot, and I just kind of work through and see how each one's moving. So we see the the first three. Are kind of pushing it away so it's pushing it out here a little bit and you can just kind of draw it in your head you know use the grid lines and say okay it's probably gonna push it out about that far and then we work our way through and we see it starts coming back starts coming back and then I just work my way out to say okay this this looks like a pretty good line right here um, I can shift it to forward view and then I just kind of work my way through those progressions again obviously I do it a little faster during my rounds um, just because of repetition but in, in this view, I'm, I'm saying probably about right here. So then I'll come back. Yeah, that looks like that's a little too much for me, personally. Um, but I know this putt, just from experience, does tend to tail a little firmer than it looks like at the end. And you can go into chip view, and you can kind of go you know, grid by grid there as well, just to confirm. So I'll start closest to the ball, and we see that movement's maybe not, not as sharp as I thought at the beginning but the end of the putt we definitely see that break and we see it earlier than what we see before so maybe out here is the line and you have to account for speed you know if I hit this putt uh, at speed then I need to think a little bit about that end break uh, but normally you know on a decent putt I want to I want to put it by the hole about a foot maybe two feet uh, so that means that this these last two grids before the hole the break's not going to be as great, right? So it's not going to come into play as much. So I kind of keep I keep gravitating right back to this line for some reason, which kind of makes me feel like that's my line, but it just I know it's going to break more than I think, right? So I'm going to come back to this line, and then from there we hit our putt. Hopefully we have everything lined up correctly. I pulled it and I missed it. I played too much break. It was it was right where I kept gravitating back to. That's what my my gut was telling me to go, um, and I didn't trust it. So that's a mistake on my part. But you know, overall, 15 under, pretty good. Um, I just showed you guys the putts where I rammed it, and of course this one. Uh, I didn't want to bore you with the full round details, but it's something to go out and try. Again, fast greens, very fast. Anything below those speeds. It works really well on. So, um, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Again, I can't help you out with dot speeds. Those are just things you've got to figure out what your, uh, how, how your computer renders the dots. Because, again, how mine renders and how yours are are probably going to be slightly different.